For quite some time, there have been looming fears of a global recession, and this has somehow changed the course of several businesses, with the FED raising interest rates multiple times this past year. However, future fund managing partner Gary Black has given some sort of relief to investors, as he says there will be no recession, and if it does come, then it's going to be extremely shallow. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. In 2022, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told analysis that he believed inflation was worse than what was reported at the time, and would likely continue through the year. Prior to this, Musk said at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting in August that the economy was past its worst period of inflation, noting that the cost of most of the commodities and parts that go into Tesla's cars would decline in the following months. According to Musk, the trend was down at the time, which suggests that the economy was past peak inflation. The Tesla executive added that inflation would drop rapidly and that he was expecting only a mid-recession in the next 18 months. Furthermore, Musk said that even if the recession is a serious one, then he expects to see a deflation in input cost, which will consequently lead to better margins. Is Tesla likely to suffer from a recession this year? More details in this video, but before we start, if you like this type of video, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. According to Black, Tesla investors are not listening to Musk's economic forecasts, and the company's recent price cut has been a success. He added that most people are not paying attention to whether there will be a recession or not, and many believe that Tesla's first quarter delivery numbers could go as high as 450,000 cars. Gary Black fixed his expected margin for Tesla to about 23% with a 1.9 million volume delivery number for the year. He also predicted that Tesla's stock price will go as high as $370 in about 6 to 12 months. Black's new price target for Tesla comes from a place of intense bullishness on the automaker's stock. The Tesla investor recently gave his opinion as to why Tesla's stock is currently trading at a low price. The former asset manager said in a recent interview that usually when the market leader cuts prices, they have more room to discount than competitors because their gross profit is higher. He added that in this situation, Tesla is going to be a winner in this price war as are most market leaders when they cut price, and so he's not that worried about the competition coming. According to him, while news of increasing competition for Tesla has lingered on for years, it really hasn't impacted Tesla all that much. He further said that he expects to see a big volume increase for the car company in the first quarter as the EV maker recaptures volume lost through price cuts. Gary Black had previously cited several reasons why he thinks that Tesla stock will be huge in the future. The Tesla bull had previously said that an increase in Tesla's output can have a significant impact on the company's stock price. According to him, if Tesla's factory in China is able to increase production volumes for its cars per week, then it can reach incredible milestones. Tesla delivered a record number of vehicles in November from its Shanghai Gigafactory owing to its expanded capacity and and price cuts. And so, with another price cut this year, Tesla can once again hit record delivery numbers if production rate is increased. Black has been a strong advocate for Tesla's stock valuation and is often of the opinion that the stock is undervalued. In 2022, when the stock was selling at a two-year record low, Black cited that the shares were selling at a cheap price. Tesla's share price dropped significantly in 2022, with the stock erasing about $225 billion in market value after Musk closed his deal to buy Twitter in late October. Since he lost Musk's Twitter deal, there have been a series of never-ending drops in Tesla's stock price. However, despite this, Gary Black still remained bullish on the stock, although he had cited his reservations about the Tesla CEO's commitment to his new company. Black said that unless Elon Musk changes his mind on stepping down as Twitter CEO, then it may seem that all the bad news is on Tesla stock. He said that for Tesla stock price to recover from the dip, Musk can't sell more Tesla shares until fourth quarter earnings were released in January. According to Gary Black, selection of a new Twitter CEO in place of Musk could now be a catalyst for Tesla. Musk took over the social media company in 2022 amidst concerns from investors, and in the months following this, the automaker's stock price experienced only a few surge, with multiple drops from time to time. Not only has this new venture caused Musk to sell several Tesla shares, it has also taken a percentage of his time, leaving less time to attend to Tesla. In a series of tweets by Gary Black, he wrote that he is surprised that Tesla's board of directors stood by while Elon Musk spent the bulk of his time at Twitter and not Tesla after his deal. He added that he believes that Tesla executives finally pressured Musk to give up his role as Twitter's CEO or risk being sued for not acting in the best of interests for Tesla. He also added that this could have prompted Musk's poll on Twitter, asking if he should step down as the company's CEO. However, overall, the Tesla investor still sees various factors that could possibly positively affect Tesla's stock price in the future. In a previous tweet, Black cited a wide release of Tesla's FSD version 11, the Cybertruck launch, 
a $10 billion share buyback in the first quarter of the year and the production of a low-cost electric vehicle in 2023, as possible boosts for Tesla stock price in the coming months. He also added that the construction of two to three new gigafactories and the endorsement of a new, credible CEO for Twitter are other possible catalysts for Tesla stock. Gary Black believes that Tesla is well poised to increase its revenue in the future. He had previously agreed with American investor Ron Barron when he predicted that Tesla will sell 20 million cars at $50,000 average selling price, with a 30% operating margin. According to Barron, this will give a $300 billion operating income with a 15 times PE ratio, equating to $4.5 trillion in valuation. In this valuation, Ron Barron excludes Tesla's robo-taxi, bots, batteries, and everything else except electric vehicles. However, while it is okay for investors to be optimistic about Gary Black's comments on recession, it is important to note that unlike Black, there are some other analysts who have different opinions about recession and its effects on the economy. Senior Portfolio Manager at Fernwood Investment Management, Catherine Faddy said last year that amidst growing concerns about the economy and a possible recession this year, she thinks that Tesla stock is only going to go down. Likewise, Chief Investment Officer at Spear Invest Ivana Delevska struck a similar tone, saying indicators in several regions, as well as Tesla's recent price cuts, suggest that the global supply-demand dynamic is now softer for the company. She wrote that she expects 2023 will be a tough year for the sector, as slowing demand is met with significant increase in supply, adding that that Tesla is not a niche player anymore and therefore will start seeing cyclicality just as other auto manufacturers. Several investors believe that the company's outlook is likely to darken and the demand for its EVs could wane as high inflation and rising interest rates sap demand from consumers who are reluctant to spend on big ticket items. However, it is important to consider the fundamentals here. There's no doubt that Tesla's demand is on the rise and this is going to have a lasting effect on the company's stock. Musk had said earlier this year that Tesla plans to expand its network of gigafactories as the company aims to meet its goal of building as many as 20 million electric cars by the year 2030. He added that Tesla could build probably at least 10 or 12 gigafactories with an output of between 1.5 to 2 million units per factory. And there is also the possibility of a share buyback, which promises to be a huge thing for the car company. Gary Black stated in a previous open letter to Tesla's board of directors that since Tesla's shares were valued at its lowest P.E. ratio, the company could consider an aggressive multi-year stock buyback of at least $10 billion. He added that by doing so, Tesla could rake in returns and consequently drive up the value of its stock. What are your thoughts on Gary Black's comments on recession? Let us know down below in the comments section. And don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to in the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.